Don't catch me, crabs. Not when I shift into maximum overdrive. Hiya! Yeah, that's right. We're gonna go maximum overdrive on these zombies. Hello, this is Agon335. Welcome back to Blitz Play Plants for Zombies. Last part, we started the night world. Today, we're continuing it. Musical nonsense. <laughs> anyway, showcase the uh, new grave plant that we have here. Let's we'll go with this. See if the rake will work this time. Alright. It worked this time, and I have the walnut here with it, too. The zombies are coming. We're ready this time. We're in maximum... Maximum posage. We're in maximum overdrive mode for them this episode. Far so good. So what are y'all up to today? Having fun? Staying at... Watching this at home in your room, probably? I know why I would be if I were a viewer. Maybe in your room, like, eating a sandwich or something while you're watching this. Let me know if you are eating a sandwich while you're watching this. So I find that kind of funny. <laughs> Maybe even a burger. Yeah, yeah, let me know if you're having a burger while you're watching this. <laughs> Uh oh. Not letting you break through, not today. That's why I need two of them to take care of them, not just one. Anyway, here's the Grave Buster. Does exactly what you think it do. Busts down graves. You know what I find kind of weird about them? Is that they cost 75 in this game. They do come back in Flintstones too, but they're free in that one. Hot cap, what were you thinking? Seriously, what were you thinking? Anyway, let's continue to go into maximum overdrive mode on these zombies. This is the maximum overdrive part. Whoa, are there pole vaulters in this, really? I I just practiced this, and already I forgot that there are pole vaulters on this stage. Can you believe me? You probably saw it, too, and you're yelling in your monitors right now, or devices saying, Ah, again, you missed out. There's a pole vaulter there. Yeah. These nut levels, we don't need potato mines to... Stop them from jumping over the lawns. We have puff shrooms at our disposal. Oh, 
Oh, gems. They give you a thousand. Uh, I never talk about the coin amounts here. The silver coins give you... Give you ten. There are gold ones that give you fifty. Actually, no, 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 no. They, they don't give you. They give you a hundred. And the gems, which is what you just saw there, give you a thousand. And you get a gold for every lawnmower over here that stays alive until the end of the game. Which means if all five survive, then it means you get 500 at the end. So good. Maximum overdrive has definitely kicked in today. Oh no, you don't. be doing double fume shrooms as well. Take care of the screen doors faster. Yeah, that's what I'll do for this one. I probably won't be able to get it built up all the way over here, but I'll try it anyway. Here we go, final wave. No graves in sight, which means there are not going to be any zombies coming out over here. And get you this way. No, wait. Got the almanac. Here we get the suburban almanac. Keeps track of all plants and zombies you encounter. If it'll let me click on it, that would be great. Hang on. Alright, this is what happens when you click on it. I don't know what happened back there. But we'll have a part dedicated to this at some point. But here you can just see all the different plants and zombies that you've collected. Or that you've encountered. So we have... Just this part, we've seen the Grave Buster. It's also the Chomper, Cherry Bone, Zombies. We get last part, we just saw these two newspaper, zombie, and the screen door. It even says here Weakness, Fume Shrum. But enough about the Almanac. Turn the music back on. Oh. I don't know why it does that. That's the music that's supposed to play in the almanac, by the way. Anyway, next level. Here we go. Ever play a game called Wackazon? It's just like hunting squirrels. You know those little furry little rodents that dig holes in your lawn? You mean, uh... Moles? Yeah, he's... He's on something. Yeah, just like that. But instead of scorbos, it's zombies. And instead of a shovel, it's a mallet. 
And instead of me, it's you! No, not the main menu. Anyway, this is whack a zombie. Tap a zombie. As soon as it pops out of a grave, they die. It's basically. No, well, there's to it really here. More graves will spawn as we go along, and once it happens. I said, once it happens. Come on, it's gotta happen at some point. Come on. Come on. Why is it not showing up? There we go, finally. I don't know why it took so long, but. Yep, we can actually use plants in this. Specifically the potato mine, the grave buster, and the cherry bomb. The original version of this game actually had the I I can't say that. It's a plant we haven't even gotten to yet. Whoops. <laughs> Almost spoiled something there. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll mention that later in the playthrough. So we're gonna be seeing this mode again later in the playthrough. And I don't recommend using potato mines in this. At all. The only things I'm going to recommend here are the Grave Busters and the Cherry Bombs. Okay, put another one right here. Eh, Cherry Bomb these guys. No shroom makes a zombie fight for you. Of course, music went away again. Ah, part's about to end anyway. Doesn't matter right now. We'll be seeing it in action next time, as always. Hanging through 35 out. See you then.